What's going on, YouTube? We are back in the melting shop today. I told you guys we would be back with another melt video, and I found the perfect candidates for a new bait meltdown. So what we've got here, as I know, just like some of you, just like me, some of you got those extra baits that have laid around for quite some time that you bought thinking you were going to use, but never use. These are yum worms with well, yum dinger from yum. It's supposed to be watermelon pearl laminate. Well, as y'all can see, these have sat around for quite some time, and the watermelon has pretty much fell out of this laminate. You can see the pearly white, but the watermelon's pretty much gone. Got a bag of them old robo worms. Probably still good, but. As much as I keep telling myself I'm going to use them, I don't use them. You know, got those robo worms that I keep in the boat, in the packaging. These ones have kind of just been, you know, from packs that I've used that I've only had like one or two left. They get tossed to the side because I open a new pack and I keep going for the other ones and forget about the pack where there's only a few left. So what we're going to do in this video, we are going to melt those babies down, all of them, all together, see what kind of crazy color we can come up with because it should be awesome. We're going to take them and let's see what we got over here. So I'm preheating my molds because the garage is cold. But we're going to take this six inch worm mold and uh, see what kind of uh, magic we can make happen with those worms. Hopefully we get some banging colors because uh, we need some help out here this winter because it is not easy out here on these lakes and anything that we can get that's different, that works, is a winner in my book. We'll see you when these molds are ready. Alright, so I told y'all in the last video, I need plastics. Y'all gotta send me stuff because I don't think I'm gonna buy plastics all. I think we're just gonna do old baits and uh recycle old stuff this is the first box of base that i've got from some friends that they had been saving that got sent to me so uh we're gonna dump those in the big box there get rid of my darker colors that's gonna be another video and free up the glass sap what we got here all of these are robo worms various colors don't remember the names of a lot of these you know that's a really good color out there but you know what in the bowl they go we are about to make some fire here i'm gonna throw in those yums there you know what let's get them out of here all of them let's get them all out of here Woo, those are slippery Slippery, he say. Cut those up so they fit. Oh, we almost missed some uh these more clear baits in here. I don't even know why I bought these. But we bought them and here we are. Melting stuff up. Alright. Y'all know what's about to happen. One minute in. All right, so just like last time, I'm going to show you all what exactly one minute did in the microwave. Not very much happens. You can see just a little bit of the bait starting to, to melt, starting to stick to each other. Stuff's getting real soft. So let's, back up. let's go back for another minute. All right. This is two minutes in the microwave. See, it's starting to get soupy. I think we might end up with a nice pink worm here, which is going to be awesome because, you know, out here in California, that uh, morning dawn robot color rubber worms do fantastic out here. All right, well, that's uh, two minutes in the microwave. Let's see where we're at. That is 220 degrees 
from two minutes. Let's keep going. All right, this is three minutes in the microwave. See where we're at temp wise. Sitting about 290. Well, see, it's different temperatures depending on where the laser's sitting. It's about 300. So, got a little bit more we can do in the microwave. Oh boy, look at that. This is going to have a bunch of iridescent, flaky magic in it. Got a lot of air bubbles. But just like last time, we'll make it we'll make it work. Get all them chunks in there. Get them all stirred up. I can see greens, I can see reds, I can see a little bit of black. I like how it's got that white kind of from them yum worms in there. It's kind of got a pearl base to it. It's kind of kind of cool. But as you can see, it's still chunky, so we need more heat. Them yum worms are taking a little bit longer to melt than the uh, robo worms did. So back to the microwave. All right, that was another 30 seconds. So it's been three minutes and 30 seconds in the microwave. Setting at 310 degrees. Oh, that's nice. I'm not feeling any chunks. There's not very many in there. But I do want to get it a little bit hotter, so we are going to throw it back in there. Man, that is making a really nice color. That's going to make an awesome worm. You see those fumes that are coming off of this thing? This is the stuff that you do not want to breathe. This stuff is real toxic. All right, last shot in the microwave and we should be good. All right, we are up to four minutes total on this mix. Sitting at 331 degrees. Let's give it a stir. I don't like those air bubbles, but nothing I can do. Grab the all right, let's make a mess. I wanted to do these crawls in this color to see what they look like because I figured it would look pretty decent. Just top that off. Oh yeah, we had plenty. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Guys, look at that color. That is gonna be incredible. That is gonna look really good. All right, we'll let these cool off and we'll be right back. All right, let's see what we got. The Robo Worm, the Robo Yum Worm concoction. Man, look at that. That is impressive. It's got, it's like this light, light pinkish brown kind of color. And I don't know if you can tell from the camera, but it's got a white, kind of a pearly, pearlescent hue to it. So I think in the water, this is probably going to shine really well. All right. Let's see what these did. I made it in a crawl just to just to see. <laughs> I like that. I might have to shoot a couple more of these. I just did the crawls just as a a just, you know, just just cuz just to try, but holy crap. I'm impressed. 
Mm-hmm. I know you guys got to be able to see that that pearly white hue. Like when you look at it like this, it almost looks like it's got a silver back to it. Wow, that's incredible. Yep, I'm about to shoot some more of these. Reset back up again. And get some more of these shot because this is a better color than I thought it was going to be. Let's get some of these worms. Get some more of these crawls. Pop these guys off. You guys can see it as it's cooling off, it starts to suck that plastic in. So you want to keep these things full just so you make sure you got enough plastic going in there. Oh yeah, that was just the right amount for these size. So these are single molds and this one uh five cavity. Yeah, five or six cavity, I don't remember. <laughs> And as y'all seen in the last video, cleanup is super easy. I need to get one of them twisty ones so it's a, a lot easier to do. But this one's not bad. It's just that single screw. Push it. Bye bye. That is it. <laughs> Put that back in, put the cap back on it, and then put the screw back in it, and we are ready for the next round. I need to get a bigger injector. Clumping them back up already. It's quick. All right. This will be round two. We got a surprise color brewing up for you guys in the microwave right now to end this video. But uh, let's open it up. Oh, yeah. Yup. Looking good. Yeah, yeah, those are looking great. All right, we're going to get these guys cleaned up and get those new ones in here so you guys can see. I guess you could call it the color of the day. Sticking with our in color and brand, we ended up throwing what we had left of these guys. This is a chartreuse yum pulse tail into the mix. Let's see how much that changes the color. Alrighty. It's a little hot, but we're going to shoot it. See if that chartreuse did anything. From the outside, it doesn't look like it did anything but actually darken the color, which is kind of weird. Yeah, it's darker than it was, but I don't know. Had just enough. That was perfect. All right, well, we are going to let that cool. You can definitely tell it's got a little bit more of a uh, brownish yellowy tint to it. Oh yeah, so check it out. So that's the other stuff. And that's, this is the original and this is after I added the chartreuse. So that changed it up quite a bit. Let's see what the uh, end result is once these uh, molds cool. Should be long enough. We ended up shooting these ones a little bit hotter than we've shot the rest of them, so we'll see if that makes any difference. Mm 
That is not what I thought chartreuse, adding chartreuse to this color was going to do. We've still got that pearlescent hue. It's just the color's darker. Like we didn't, let's see, let's grab some of the old ones. So these are some of the green pumpkin ones we did last time. You see they're not as dark, but still a solid color by any means. Didn't get any in that one, it was too close. Oh yeah. You can tell we shot these ones maybe a little too hot. But it's all right. It still worked out. I don't have as much hue, that pearlescent hue in it as I did the other one. So the chartreuse definitely took some of that hue out, but it made it darker. Oh, we got a dimple there. Not a big deal, because these are going to be jig trailers. Yep, got a dimple on that one. No biggie. But yeah, it's definitely surprised at how that uh, color change went. Here's today's haul from the video. One thing that I didn't notice when we were going through the baits is uh, that chartreuse we added it did make a big difference. Of course, these five worms and these two here are the ones with the chartreuse mixed in them. It's kind of hard to see a difference right here, but when you grab one of these things and you take it up to the light, look at that. That chartreuse glows in that color in the light. And it does the same thing in the worms. So on a nice bright sunny day, I feel like that is gonna go crazy. The regular ones, let's grab a regular one here. They don't do that. It gets a little bit lighter, but you definitely do not get that glow like you do with the other baits. Yeah, so added consequence, uh, well added unintentional consequence of something that ended up turning out pretty cool. Definitely wasn't what I expected it was going to do, but hey, we got a new color. We're learning. We're trying new things. And uh, now the next step is to get these things on the water and show you guys whether or not these things catch fish or not. So uh, we're going to leave you guys here and we will see you guys out on the water.